What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be playing a game with this card right here. It is the new player of the month card, and it is the pink diamond Wes Unseld. This card is incredible. Well, it actually, to be fair, like for a free card it's incredible, but, well stats wise it is, there's kind of one major thing that lets him down, as the reason why I'm, not, I'm playing him out of position, because you literally cannot play this guy at center. You literally can't play Wes on the center, and that's not a, not really a problem, but for the people that are kind of so set on everyone having to play the correct position, it's really not ideal, because you look at centers, put Wes Unseld in, Wes Unseld is 6'7", he's small, he is really small, definitely can't hold his own a center, but I think in this lineup right here he should do okay, I'm gonna actually change it up, and we're gonna put him Wilt, because if I put two, an undersized power forward and an undersized center, they might struggle a little bit. And I'll start Larry and put Yanis on the bench. So the team we're running with is Magic Johnson, the one, Jay Orr, the two, Larry Bird, the three, Wes Unsell, the four, and Wilson, the five. Off the bench, we have got LeBron James, the one, Kevin Durant, the two, Giannis, the three, Anthony Davis, the four, and Blake Griffin at the five. We've got Carmelo Anthony, Oscar Robinson, and Kobe Bryant rounding off the bench. So anyway, yep, this is the team that we have got. Now let's go over the stats for Wes Unseld. So Wes Unseld is six foot seven, 90 on offense and defense, but overall comes in nine Hall of Fame badges. Rick Wall Bruiser, Hustle Rebounder, Pick and Popper, Break Starter, Post Midnight Nation, Relentless Finisher, Put Back King, and Lapsity Finisher, as well as 12 gold badges. He does not have Limitless or Deep Range Jedi, which to be completely honest, for a player of his height, you kind of need those two badges. So let's hope that this guy, this isn't my account again. Big thank you to um the guy who owns the account for letting me use it he let me use his account for the gameplay with blake griffin as well because he ended up getting him a couple of hours before i did on my own account so that was how i was able to get that gameplay out so quick because he managed to pull kd in the packs whereas i didn't but we do have this uh wes on upgraded to limitless range gold deep range dead eye gold and yeah hopefully he is able to play as quite a good stretch four He's got great post game, 96, 97, post looking fadeaway. An unbelievable shot made in 95. Good enough shot three of eight, or great shot three of 89, to be honest. With, do I have Kerr? Does Kerr give him a plus four and three pointer? No, he doesn't. So I'm actually going to switch out Steve Kerr with um, Mike D'Antoni, just so we can give him a three point boost. And yeah, so he goes up four in three point shot. And also, he's got a 95 driving dunk. He can't speed boost, unfortunately, but has unbelievable passing stats. 95 block is good, but again, a 6.7, he's not going to get any blocks. Mario Azoni is an inch taller with 95 block, and he can't get any blocks. But he's got a good shot and test, good steal. Great rebounding stats. Great speed and acceleration. Not great speed of ball, though. Great lateral quickness. Great on-ball defense by Q, and good low post defense by Q. So this card should still be just about usable anyway. For a free card, I don't think you can go too far wrong. But one kind of weird thing is, is that with this card right here, it says here it is 61 days, so two months. If this is what you get for two months rewards, that would be absolutely ridiculous on the, on the part of 2k. That would be crazy. But um, now we're going to go over to hot zones and release, and then we're going to get on to the game. So Wes on Unseld has got hot zones basically everywhere on the floor. His release, oh great, it is that release. Same release as last year, money. For two years, this exact release was the best release in 2k in 2k 17 and 2k 18 this release i'm not sure what release exactly it is i think it's like high school something um actual release but it's what i used to call the generic release in 2k 17 because they literally gave this release to about 10 players from like april may onwards i think last year agauskas had it and it was that card was just money wes unsell had it last year dan Issel has it this year i think um jerry jeffries has it this year so does um oscar robertson and it is one of the most cheap or one of the best catch and shoot releases, one of the easiest catch and shoot releases to green. Not the best off the dribble, but again, you're not really going to be using him too much for something like that. In the post, Wes Unseld obviously is going to be good. Fadeaway doesn't get much separation. Post hook, I doubt he'll be using it too much. Again, he is six foot seven, so it's going to be hard to get hooks. But to be honest, I had most success back in the day with this guy in 2K17, back when you literally used to just be able to back people down and fade from anywhere. And he used to be great as kind of a cheese point guard, but now nah, this guy still should be quite good running at the power forward or maybe even the small forward position. But uh, yeah, now it's just green one more three, and now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Magic Johnson, 
Brandon Roy, Scotty, Blake Griffin, and Akeem. So we are playing against quite a nice squad. The defense wilt. Let's go straight to the basket. Will Chamberlain with the dunk. And it's a rage quit straight away. Okay, so playing against probably a similar standard team. Elgin Baylor, who on my actual account is one of the only cards I actually don't have. So, should be a fun game. Oh, I stepped on there. From deep. And Wes Unsell knocks down the first three from deep. Let's go. Already causing the rage pause. Got him. Ooh, nice dunk by Unsell. He's got magic at the four, which is a bit strange. May not be a bad idea. I used to throw magic a lot out there as well, to be fair. He's magic at the four, allows him to switch everything. Oh, I thought he'd catch that quicker. But Unsell still knocks it down. Attack. They doubled off him. We find Wilt wide open for three. And Wilt knocks it down. Easy fade. Unlucky. Fake. Straight to the basket. And Unsell gets it up. And forced again to quit, of course. Okay, so we're playing against not a great team. Not a great team at all. There we go. Right in for Unselled. Good, great finish there over Kawhi. Okay, wide open there in the pop. Full white. Unselled hits a shot. Okay, I wouldn't call Unselled one of the best guys in the game or anything. He's definitely not an absolute God Squad type player, but he's honestly not like. Like, he's usable. Like, you can definitely use Unsell to win games. Leaking out. And Unsell with a dunk. Unsell on the break. They left him open for three. Can't hit it. I pulled two of those releases early, which is something that I shouldn't be doing. Well, doing as, nearly as often as I am at this stage. That Manu is a god, though. Like, that Manu Ginobili is legitimately a god in 2K. If you guys haven't used him, he is unbelievable. There we go, that's a bit better. Good shot on self. Let's go. Like that manager nobody honestly feels better than the pink diamond. Like I have just completely dominated against really good opponents with really good squads with that card. Get away. A little bit contested, but on self hits it. Okay, I put gold in on him, that should be good. There we go. Nice shot. His takeovers are Glass Cleaner and Slasher. I'd much rather have other takeovers. I'd rather have Sharp takeover, but hey, neither does it bad at all. Well, good. We will protect the rim. Ah, good job. Let's see what this free throw is like. We've not yet gone to line with him. 81 rating. Not the worst release. Not like he will probably. Oh, he missed both of them. Wow. Three ball for Unsell and the break knocks it down. Okay, we got a little bit of space in the fade. Good shot by Unsell. Let's go. This is five. This lead's five. In no time, this lead will be 20. Oh, nice job, Kevin Durant going coast to coast. Let's go. See yep. The flank goes right to the basket and it gets the easy dunk. We got leads at seven. Okay, good shot, Giannis. I'm doing a horrible job in offense here. I don't know if I'm playing really bad offense, or this guy here is actually playing some really good half-court defense. Here we go, Blake Griffin knocks down to three. Yep, I was right. The lead's going to be 20 very soon. The lead's already up to 12 after a minute and a half of this quarter starting. Make sure it's a three. That's green. Way too wide open for Giannis. Good board. Finds Blake, green light. Okay, it's fine. We got the mismatch. That's open. Easy fade away for Unsell. Stop. From deep, full white. Unsell knocks it down. Yo, he's still got 26 points. Leads him up to 14. He's done okay. Hasn't been incredible. Hasn't, hasn't been bad. Been okay. Okay, wide open. And he's gone. So anyway, that's the video. Wes Unseld is meh. I mean, that's the only way I can describe him. Meh. Like, he's decent. Like, if you're looking at... I'm not going to even consider playing him a center, but if you're looking at power forwards in the game, there's an awful lot of better ones. Um, He's 
basically Larry Johnson without uh, the ability, without the speed, really. Larry Johnson has got a speed with ball of, actually no, it's only 73. Wow, he's way faster than Larry Johnson. I did not realize that. But he's a similar enough card to Larry Johnson. Um, he's nowhere near as good as Kurlenko. He's, like, there's no real reason to use him. If you're, if you're starting power forward, I don't know, someone like a Draymond, he's just a better version of Draymond. But that's about it. Like, there are cards for 30 KMT, and in the next month, once playoffs cards come out, there'll be cards for 25 KMT that are better than this card. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.